Hi, everybody. My name is Jeff Keller with Extreme Consulting, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about job plan sequencing for preventive maintenance records. The job plan sequence for PMs focuses on a different concept than other sequences seen in Maximo. Instead of telling the worker the order in which the job plan should be completed, the sequence of the job plans on the job plan sequence tab of the preventive maintenance app tells Maximo what job plan will be used when triggering a work order. Here I have a preventive maintenance record set up. So this is a YouTube example. Um, has my centrifugal pump as the asset. And here in the job plan sequence tab, we see three different job plans. Notice that it's not just in a one, two, three order. And there's a reason for that. Um, and what it's going to do is it's going to kick out just one of these job plans per work order that it triggers. Now to understand this, you have to understand what Maximo is actually doing. The Preventive Maintenance app has a counter on the PM tab. So we can see here. And it starts at zero and goes up by one every time the PM triggers a work order. So in other words, it's, it's pretty much just counting up one for every time that the PM triggers a work order. Now, the counter can be uh, off just because someone can go into the select action menu and reset the counter or uh, change it to a different number. But assuming that hasn't happened, it's really just going to count up by one each time the work order is created. Um, when the PM is triggered to create a work order by either the, the frequency, um, like a monthly frequency, or by a meter, that PM counter is going to increase by one. And it's going to run the job plan with the highest sequence number that can evenly, and when I say evenly, I mean resulting in a whole number, divide into the PM counter number. So, um, if that doesn't make sense, um, check out this example I have. We have a job plan sequence for a one month service, a quarterly service, and a yearly service. Now, assuming this, the frequency for this preventative maintenance um, record is set to one month, uh, each month it's going to kick out just one of these job plans. And the sequence is one for the first one because I want that to go every month. And the sequence is three for the second one because I want it to go quarterly and kick out every three months. Except for the time that I want it to go to a yearly job plan, which is going to be set at 12. Okay, now assuming the PM has just been created, the first two months will create the, uh, will be created with the job plan with a sequence of one, because it's the only thing, only number that can evenly divide into the counter, which is going to be one for the first time it generates and two for the second time it generates. But the third time it generates, it's going to kick out the job plan um, for the quarterly service, because that's set at three, and now it's the highest number that can evenly divide into the counter. And then at four, it's going to go back into the one month service, which is set at a sequence of one, because the three can no longer divide evenly into it. Now, now it's going to kick out the quarterly service on three, six, and nine. And this will run the, the quarterly job plan. But once it hits 12, it's going to run the, the, the yearly job plan. And to get a better visual of what's going on, we can go to the Select Action menu and take a look at View Sequence. And we can see here, once it loads, how it's going to run. Now, remember that the sequence, the counter is already on 1. So for the next one, it's going to bump the counter up to two, which is going to run the one-month service. Three is going to run the quarterly, and it goes all the way down 
to where 12 is going to run on the 12th month, which will be the yearly service. Now, one thing to remember, only one job plan from the PM is added to a work order. Therefore, if all the monthly tasks are done during each quarter, they'll have to be added to the uh, quarterly job plan along with uh, the extra quarterly tasks. So the idea is if you need all the tasks here in the month, in the one month service to be with the quarterly, you'll have to add them into the quarterly service job plan when creating that job plan. Now let's check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and generate the work order. We're gonna skip the frequency because I'm just gonna run it. And let it load. Okay, work order 1211 has been created. So let's go to the work order. Okay, let's take a look at the plan. Now it should kick out the monthly plan. And here's the monthly plan that I have. Just check that the pump is operational. Okay, now let's change the status. Go ahead and put it complete because we can't create another PM or we can't create a, another work order from the same PM if uh, this one's still open. Okay, status has been changed successfully and the PM is 1012. So let's go back in the PMs. Let's go to 1012. And notice the counter has been set to uh, two now. We'll generate a work order again. And now the counter should move to three and generate the quarterly job plan with the work order. So we let it load. Let's watch the circle go around. Okay, 1212 has been created. Let's go check it out. Okay, and notice that the uh, quarterly plan has been put with this one. And if we were to keep doing this, it would go back with four. The counter would go to four, and we go back to the one month until we all were, get all the way to 12, and we see the yearly one kick out. So that's how it's done. And if you have any questions, um, check out our forum or our wiki. Thanks a lot.